Did you hear that? That sounds like someone trashing the place. Good morning, guys. Today, we are stepping back in time. I'm joined with Josh again for another video. Hey. And we have come to the very, very start of the Industrial Revolution. We've come to a place in Shropshire, I won't give the exact location, but it's not too much of a stretch of the imagination to know where we are, but I'll just show you ahead of me. Welcome to an iron cast foundry. Let's explore. Oh, this is literally my first venture into abandoned exploration. Wow, it's literally like traveling back in time. But this would have been the start of the Industrial Revolution. Where we are walking now is walking through history and our lives would have changed permanently in the 17, 1800s. At this factory right here, let's just have a look around. What do you think being here? It's creepy. It is, it is creepy. Around. It is creepy. <laughs> I can smell coal. I can actually smell coal still. How weird is that? You know how many people can look at your footprints everywhere? Yeah. But it does wow. sound creepy. It sounds like as if someone's here when they're not. It's Yeah, it sounds because creepy. Of how open it is. Yeah, yeah. And there's echoes everywhere. But this literally would have been where life changed for the better. The world would have changed from handcrafted items and labor intensive payoffs to automation, machinery. Now that looks like the entrance to some kind of human slaughterhouse, isn't it? Okay. Should we just poke our head in? Well, the place, this place is also meant to be used for where they built some of the iron bridge. Yeah. Was in the same, on the same side. So the first iron bridge in the whole world was actually built here. I think that was in oh, 1700s. Yeah. So what does it say? Job card. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, this has proper been destroyed since I was last year and I was the only here in Wow. Time. So this is from the Arga days of a couple of years ago. Josh has brought his light. This is all the little office things and then the old, one of the old, I think it's cooker or something. So when you were here last, just a month ago, it's been trashed. It, it was trashed already, but not half as bad as it was done. Wow. When you look ahead of you there, what do you imagine? Two or 300 years ago, 400 years ago. What can you envisage? What can you picture? People hard at work with their tools. Yeah. <laughs> and I've got to say thanks to you today, mate, because uh, Josh has already done a video on this place and he's not actually filming a video today. He's come specifically with me to show me around this piece of incredible British history. What else we got here then? Instant port. Arga Range Master. This is definitely all Arga orientated, isn't it? How long was Arga here for then? I think it was 1900 and then before that it was used mainly cast iron. So Arga was here from the 1900s up until 2017? I think so, yeah. Wow. We have to double check on the information centre because I think it's written on there on the BBC one. Okay. So you might have to fact check that guys, but wow, that's incredible. For one business to be in one location for such a long time. So a little poker head through here. Just check the throw. Yeah, looking all right, I think. <laughs> I like how it's 
clearly refrain from blowing your nose or spitting on the cubicle walls in the shower area. <laughs> <laughs> so the pure fact that that sign's there yeah. just tells you that they would have had a massive problem with that. <laughs> yeah, all the, the Argo employees snotting on the walls. <laughs> Lovely. I know it sounds crazy, I mean, I'm not really into the paranormal, but for those of you that are, this really is like a place that if there was going to be ghosts, it would be here, wouldn't it? How old the factory is. Can you imagine the amount of lives that were probably lost here? Yeah. It wouldn't have been the most health and safety orientated place all those hundreds of years ago. And they've got this so, little office thing which is in trash as well. With the sand moulding system, the application and all that. But it did have all the instructions in there. Wow. And there is a face mask. Crazy how they've become so prevalent today. So I just wanted to mention in this video today, guys, a little disclaimer that me and Josh haven't broken into this place today. We have found a little entrance point that we won't disclose in this video where we haven't broken anything, we haven't taken anything, we haven't caused any damage while we're here. We're literally just taking some video and walking around. That's the way I am practice. Are you one of the educational things what they did? Right. So they were doing like tours and stuff around here at one point? I'm not sure I'm percent of that. Looks like an educational one, cast iron plaques and that. Yeah. Did you hear that? That sounds like someone trashing the place. Well, considering we can hear someone in the distance, is that our cue to get the hell out of Dodge? Probably, yeah. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, thanks, mate. That was an absolutely fantastic little walk around the Same Iron Foundry. More than what it was when I came, but yeah. it's what happens with abandoned buildings, they get trashed. Yeah, yeah. As soon as they become abandoned. Shame. But what, what a fantastic look at some unique British history of where the new world started in an iron foundry. Crazy. All right, should we sign off from here? Yeah. yeah. Well, guys, go and check out Josh's channel. It'll be a link in the description to Josh L. Rig. Thanks again, mate, for bringing me here. Absolutely right. fantastic. Have a look around. And to show you, the viewer, some really important British history. But I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.